and to uh, cut the tip off of their penises. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's confirmed. She's off some crap. Alrighty, so what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Now you see the shirt. We got some oranges on here. Um, and well, we're, we're gonna be talking about somebody today who loves oranges, who loves fruit in general, but just so happens to be an NPC as well. And well, you know this person very, very well if you're watching this video, because this person is dead. The teacher, aka Miss Katie Karen, aka the Demon of Oblock. Now it's been a while since you've probably heard of her, or since anybody's talked about her, and apparently she's back. And well, you know, anytime this woman is back, there's gonna be a massacre in town. So well, yeah, without further ado, buckle up and let's see what this woman has been up to. Hello, parents. Do your kids know that Peppa Pig is bacon? Do they know? And if they don't know, why not? And maybe it's time to teach them. Bro, I don't think Peppa Pig was made to show kids that bacon is made out of pigs. That's kind of stupid. Like, I don't think that would have been the most genius idea to just demonstrate murder on camera to thousands of children. Not thousands, millions. Like, we get it. There's a dark side of the dairy and food industry. But, like, bro, that's not what they're going to do on TV. They're not about to demonstrate what goes on in it for a reason. Kids don't need to see this. This woman still has negative brain cells, bro. All right, let's have a look here. There's this video that says, do your kids know that Peppa Pig is bacon? And it's by Plant Based News. It's a very short video, but let's have a look and see what they're all about. What are they saying? Hey everyone, it's Daryl here from Plant Based News. And boy, have we got an interesting one for you today. Now, lots of people know of the children's cartoon. Let me guess, this guy's like the male version of that vegan teacher or a vegan Karen who tries to connect literally everything to veganism. Bro, the point of Peppa Pig is not to illustrate how bacon is made, bro. It's to entertain children. Cartoons aren't made is like political and economic messages for people to like be brainwashed by bro they're cartoons it's entertainment the fact that this woman thinks everything has to be so deeply connected to veganism it's just pathetic it's been like two years and she's still got this act going bro i think she's been doing some hardcore dope because there ain't no way she's still doing it I, I i mean it ain't even an act at this point this woman's whole life is vegan in tv show peppa pig yeah, they have stickers over on TikTok. Peppa Pig jumping in a swimming, uh, in, a, in a swimming pool, in a pile of, <laughs> I guess it's like a swimming pool to them, to pigs. But it is uh, a big, big, a big mud pile and uh, all kinds of different stickers uh, that you can use over there on TikTok. A lot of people love Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig's so cute. I use Peppa Pig stickers all the time. Okay, like, what is the relevance of this to veganism, bro? I don't know why I decided to put myself through this. I mean, we know why I did it. I did it for y'all. I decided to put myself through the pain of losing more brain cells by checking out this woman's channel. Now, trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss what we drop tomorrow, so you're definitely gonna wanna be here to see that because that may make me and you lose more brain cells than this. So stay tuned. But yeah, vegan teacher, man, oh my god, this woman's still a crackhead, and I, I'm not I'm not missing much. But do they know that pepper is bacon? There's a new petition in the UK... Peppa is bacon! Oh my god, a petition. They're demanding mandatory lessons. You know, this video is getting really boring, so I'm gonna switch it up. Let's see what else she's posted on her channel. Let's see what other gems she has that we've missed in the time that nobody's talked about her. So yeah, let's check it out. Now, the video you're all gonna be seeing next is titled Jews, Christians, Walking on Water, Circumcision, Santa, Flat Earth, and Would You Be Vegan for $100,000? Now, uh, as you can already see from that title alone, we're in for a treat, so you're not gonna wanna miss this. Buckle up, grab your popcorn, and let's get right into it. Hey there. Have you ever met somebody who actually believes that that there was this guy named Jesus who walked on water? Like, did you actually ever meet somebody in real life who who actually thought that that was possible? Um, yes, thousands of people, including myself. Like, I, I don't know what kind of a stupid question that is. I don't like talking about politics or religion because your belief is what you believe, and I don't really care. I believe what I believe, you believe what you believe. But one of the biggest religions in the world is Christianity and the belief of Jesus Christ. So to sit here and act like people don't genuinely believe in Jesus and actually worship Jesus and care and pray is stupid. You can talk about veganism all you want, but don't bring Jesus Christ into it, all right? Because, uh, that's two separate things religion and veganism bro separate them and keep them like that this woman got the brain cells of a turd and i'm convinced like you can't sit here and say these things and expect people to respect you bro and not just some sort of story that got passed down over the years and that it was like some sort of maybe illusion or just somebody made it up like the person actually believed that somebody like one person was able to defy gravity and and walk on water like 
it's truly fascinating when you meet somebody like that in real life who actually believes that. It's not really fascinating. Like, I don't really know what this woman is smoking. She must have been smoking that Big Cookies OG dope when she recorded this video. Because if you have two brain cells, you would know that majority of human beings believe in something. A lot of people believe in maybe they may be Muslim. They may believe in Allah. They may believe in Jesus. They may believe in whatever. But most people majorly believe in something. And I really don't think it's respectful for you to be disrespecting somebody's beliefs. But that's just a boundary I don't want to cross. I don't want to disrespect anybody's beliefs because dog you could believe what you want to believe and that is something you believe in you 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 live by that you abide by that and the fact that this woman is sitting there disrespecting people who have their own religious beliefs is pathetic when we can sit here and disrespect you for being a vegan loser i mean it's the same logic this woman's pathetic bro or that um who actually believes that 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 god wants parents to to pay a rabbi to pin down their their baby boy children and to uh, cut the tip off of their penises circumcised okay <laughs> yeah it's confirmed she's off some crap to describe it like that is so beyond weird especially being a grown-ass woman bro to describe these doctors in that manner like they're some form of weirdos because they're doing a medical procedure that a parent prefers to have on their kid because said beliefs or whatever is ridiculous this has been a practice for beyond time bros for for years so stop trying to connect this stuff to what you personally believe like bro stop like vegan teacher you are stupid this woman always finds a way to paint something in a negative light and make it seem so much worse than what it truly is i genuinely cannot wrap my head around the stupidity of this woman bro this, this I'm, I'm i'm done bro i'm done my bro there's there's actually people who believe that that god would want them to do this to their their newborn child just just for no reason like there's no medical reason to do it it just just because they think that some book told them to do it. Did you ever meet somebody in real life who actually believes that? It's crazy. It's it's kind of like really eye-opening when you you meet people who are like completely delusional or or did you ever meet somebody like who thinks that the the earth is is flat? With that same logic, we can say your beliefs are delusions too. We can say that your quote-unquote facts that being a vegan is gonna make your life 10 times better is a delusion too. It's crazy how the most insane people be the same people trying to call people insane. Vegan teacher, you are one of the most insane people to ever touch down on the internet, on TikTok, on any platform. Moral of the story here is this woman ain't changed. She's still making me lose brain cells and I I'm done with her for the night. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Don't miss, vi don't miss tomorrow's video. It's gonna be absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna sign out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.